Okay, in this video, I am going to take you through monitoring accuracy within a subject. So if you're a subject leader um, watching this, then this is for you. Okay, so I'm going to do it from year 13 perspective and we're going to start in the monitoring accuracy area. And just uh, the first page that I'm going to look at actually is not the difference one, it's the variance one. And I'll tell you why. Um, it's because the variance one gives me a four uh, grade point trend. Um, and so I'm going to uh, show you uh, four internal grade points for year 13 across a year. Now then, um, what this uh, is showing me is it's showing me uh, the scores uh, for the um, outs, uh, outcomes and then the grade. And then the um, arrows or the lines um, after the grade show me what's happened since the last grade point. It's a nice visual clue as to what's going on. Um, I'm going to, for the purpose of this, pretend I'm the head of maths. And so my maths um, grades, I've started off at the beginning of year 13 as a grade 8. And then they moved to a six and then a five. And now I'm predicting a four. So between um, the first 0.75 and the last grade point is 0.95. Um, so it's a difference of 0.2. Now that's a grade per student. So um, that might be absolutely spot on and accurate, um, but it's just giving you that overview and just showing you what that largest difference is. If I want to um, dissect that any further, um, I'm going to pop into the maths page and what I've got is that sort of visually represented as a, a graph, but then I can overlay my teaching set. So I've got three teaching sets here. So um, here's a B3, very different pattern. Uh, here's C3, different again. Remember the green is the overview um, of the subject and D3, very different again. So um, what I'm just seeing here is I'm seeing a visual representation of my teaching sets where again, I can just ask that question as to uh, what might be happening within the teaching set and um, uh, the accuracy of predicting uh, that's happening at any given point, okay? So that's the um, variance tab and the um, resulting graph from that. If I just pop back into um, the uh, uh, monitoring area, um, it's gonna take me to the difference tab. Now the difference tab's slightly um, different. <laughs> Um, and it gives me two grade points and I can select any two by just moving the grade point selector around and it's, it will be that one versus comparison grade point one. Um, these are two in year tracking data um, grade points. So I'm getting from my head of maths here, I'm getting the difference between this one and the last one. Now I can see it's 0.04 of a, dif a difference. So it's not hugely different. It's a quarter of a grade per student. But then I can see how many students are different between this one and the last one. It's 14 students grades. So it's just putting into context what that difference means uh, really in terms of grades that have changed across time. I can manipulate this. So for example, if I want to see how this February grade point relates to, let's say, um, last year's exam. So outcome. So for this one, that would be um, that grade point there. Then I can see um, in maths here, um, that actually I'm pretty spot on where I was uh, in terms of my outcomes last year. So um, you can manipulate this any way you like um, to show whichever two grade points you want. Um, and it could be, for example, um, the uh, final outcomes for this group and, and this latest or the last monitoring point just before they did the exams. Hope that helps. Thanks.